in this question ratio of magnification in two cases has been asked so first we can find the magnification in first case then we will find it in second case uh, in first case for the reflection we can apply 1 by v plus 1 by u equals to 1 by f therefore 1 by v minus 1 by 15 equals to minus 1 by 10 from here we get v equals to minus 30 which is the location of image formed by reflection due to this mirror now the image which is formed due to reflection from this mirror will behave as an object for this lens therefore object distance for the lens will be u for the lens mod u we can say because it uh, we are calculating distance here mod u for the lens equals to 50 minus 30 which is 20 centimeter now for the lens we apply lens formula that is 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f or 1 by v equals to 1 by 20 that means v equals to 20 in first case uh, for reflection from mirror magnification will be given by minus v by u that will be minus 2 and in second case magnification will be given by v by u which is minus 1 therefore overall magnification for the final image will be given by m1 equals to m1 into m2 that will be equal to 2 now it is said that now lens is submerged in a liquid of refractive index uh, 7 by 6 first of all we calculate the new focal length of the lens by applying the lens formula from uh, first we apply the lens formula in air again then we will apply the same formula in the medium that is 1 by f in air equals to mu of lens minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 but in the medium focal length will be given by the formula 1 upon fm equals to mu l by mu m minus 1 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 on solving equation 1 and 2 we get focal length of the lens in the medium as 35 by 2 centimeter now in the liquid image formation due to reflection uh, will be same as the image formation in the air therefore we have to calculate the image and its magnification only for refraction for the lens that means again in this case m1 will be given by the same value that is minus 2 but for refraction from the lens we will apply 1 by v plus 1 by 20 equals to 2 by 35 from here we get v equals to 140 therefore magnification for the image formed by the lens will be given by m2 that will be minus 140 upon 20 that means minus 7 and hence net magnification due to final image will be given by m2 equals to minus 7 into minus 2 that is 40 since m1 is 2 and m2 is 14 therefore ratio of m1 by m2 that is m2 by m1 equals to 7 therefore this is the answer and the question number 5 uh, this question can be solved by considering symmetry of the question so if uh, we see the diagram from positive y axis towards uh, negative y axis we will get this situation in which this is the wire this is z axis and this is y axis coming out of the board and this is x axis now this is the loop and this length is i think uh, b c 
so this length will be a by 2 and this will be also a by 2 this height is root 3a by 2 therefore this angle must be 30 degree and the complete angle made by the side bc on the wire must be 60 degree now if we draw the five similar sides around the wire in same manner we can say that wire will be surrounded by a hexagon in two dimensional diagram and in three dimensional diagram it will be hexagonal prism and this is the wire now if flux through one phase this is bc is phi we can say that the complete flux through all six phases will be given by 6 phi and according to gauss law which will be equal to q by epsilon naught now value of q is the charge trapped by this hexagonal phase which is lambda l upon epsilon naught therefore phi is lambda l upon 6 epsilon naught by comparing this with the flux given in the question answer is 6